Good day again, and today again we are back to solving physics problem. And now we will be solving problems regarding periodic motions. And we will be again solving it from our favorite book, the University Physics Book, 14th edition. So for our first problem, problem 14.5. A machine part is undergoing simple harmonic motion with a frequency of 5.10 Hz and amplitude of 1.80 cm. How long does it take for the part to go from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to negative 1.80 cm? So again, let us identify our given since it will make solution easier. We have a frequency of 5.10 Hz, an amplitude size of 1.80 cm, and we are looking for the period when x is equal to 0 to x is equal to negative 1.80. So how long does it take for that? And the equations we need to use is, of course, a period is equal to 1 over frequency. But first, before solving this problem, we need to remember something about cycle. So one cycle is equal to positive a, amplitude, positive a to 0, 0 to negative a, negative a to 0, 0 to a. So technically, by counting, it's 1, 2, 3, 4. So technically, one cycle makes up out of 4 things. And today, we are looking for x is equal to 0 to x is equal to negative 1.80 centimeters. And here, it is only 1. So it's 0 to negative a, right? So we can say that what we are looking for is the 1 fourth of the total period. So for us solving this, it's quite easy because first we just need to get the period. It's just 1 over the frequency. So 1 over 5.10 Hz will give us 0.20 seconds. And we need 1 fourth of it because we only need time for x equal to 0 to x equal to negative 1.80 centimeters, Which will technically give us a 0 0.05 seconds. So that's it. As for our second problem. 14.18. A, a 0 0.045 kilogram object is undergoing, again, a simple harmonic motion. And it has an angular, uh, wait, a linear acceleration of negative 250 meters per second squared. And x is equal to, to 0.400 meters. So what is the time for one oscillation? So again, we have here the acceleration, which is negative 250 meters per second squared. We also have a mass of 0 0.450 kilograms. And we are looking for, again we have x here of 0.4. Again we are looking for the time, for the period, for the one oscillation. So the equations we need to use. From above we can say that, uh, from the previous problem rather, we can say that the, the period is equal to 1 over f. But another formula for that is 2 pi over the angular frequency, or omega. And we have here a force. Force is equal to, we also have that force is equal to negative kx, since this is a simple harmonic motion. For our solution, since force is equal to force, right? So negative kx is equal to mass acceleration. And by deriving it, we can say that the acceleration is equal to negative k over mx. We need to remember from one of the formulas that omega squared is equal to k over m. So now we can see here that the acceleration is equal to the negative omega squared x, wherein omega is the angular frequency. So omega squared is equal to negative a x. And omega will now be equal to the square root of negative a all over x. So by substituting these values, we can say that omega is equal to negative times negative 2.5 meters per second squared all over 0.4. We now have our angular frequency of 2.5 rad per second. But that's not yet it. We need to look for the time, or the period rather. So 
we said that period is equal to 2 pi over angular frequency. So 2 pi all over 2.5 rad per second and give us a value of period 2.51 seconds. For our last problem, a pendulum on Mars. A certain simple pendulum has a period on Earth of 1.40 seconds. What is the period on the surface of Mars where the gravity is 3.71 meters per second squared? So we have here a period of 1.40 seconds when it's on Earth. We are looking for the period what we are looking for the period of the pendulum when it's on Mars. But we have a given gravi uh, gravity wherein the gravity in Mars is 3.71 meters per second. So the formula for period here, since this is a simple pendulum, is 2 pi times the square root of L over G. So by deriving the formula, we can say that uh, uh, to, get that, uh, to get the values easier, we can, say, we can square both sides. So period squared is equal to the 4 pi squared times L over G. Wherein we can get L. L will then be equal to period squared times the gravity all over 4 pi r squared. Or 4 pi squared or rather. So by substituting this, 1.40 seconds squared times 9.8 meters per second squared, this is the gravity in Earth, all over 4 pi squared, will give us a value for L. L will then be equal to 0.49 meters. And by substituting it to our formula here, in the first one, we can say that the period on Mars is equal to 2 pi times L, which is a point, the square root of L rather, the square root of L over G, which is 0.49 meters all over 3.71 meters per second squared, which is the gravity on Mars. So 2 pi times 0.36 seconds. The period then on Mars when the pendulum is there is 2.26 seconds. And that's it. If you have any questions again you can ask me here at my email or you can comment on the comment section. That's all. Have a good day.